Hello YouTubers. I've seen a lot online lately about rain gutter growing systems lately. Um, there's a man by the name of Larry Hall up in Brainerd, Minnesota who developed this system and because of all the positive comments that I've seen online and heard online I decided to uh, build one and give it a try for myself. Um, basically the way the system works is you take a rain gutter, same type of gutter you would mount on your house, and you mount it in a frame. You attach a float valve to it, so when the valve gets low enough, it automatically allows water to flood into the gutter system. Now on the gutter system, there are regular buckets. You can use a five gallon bucket like I am, or any other size bucket that you would like. Uh, that bucket sits on top of the garden and it has a net pot down at the bottom. That net pot simply sits down inside the gutter and as long as water is in the gutter your plant should be watered from the bottom up. Um, now uh, Larry also spoke about a system called air pruning and that's why I have holes drilled into the side of the bucket. Uh, the concept there is when the plants start growing, uh, typically plants grown in buckets will become root bound over time. But in a system like this, as soon as the roots reach the outside of the bucket and come in contact with air, supposedly they'll start uh, stop growing and start uh, causing new roots to grow. Um, so I decided to give this a try and here's what I came up with. Um, I've got a four bucket system over here and uh, I'm going to try growing squash in it. Um, I'm trying squash because we've had a problem over the years with getting a lot of squash beetles out where we live and I'm hoping by keeping the plants up off the ground we don't get attacked by the beetles. Now, the difference with this gutter, it does have water in it. It's already, it's already uh, up and running. Um, I put a layer of landscaping fabric over top of the gutter and that'll keep um, mosquitoes from uh, going to town in my gutter and uh, having a mosquito farm but also it'll keep out some of the light and reduce the amount of algae growth down inside the gutter since water stays in that all the time. Now I did start some plants uh, actually I think about three days ago and you can see my squash has already come up and the dirt the soil looks very dry on the top but if I just go down about an inch you can well I don't know if you can see that or not but uh, the soil is definitely moist right there so the system seems to be working exactly as advertised so I've got a four bucket system here and I'm uh, putting together another one over here that I'm going to have about five buckets on and just try a variation of different kind of vegetables to see how it grows. Now the way that uh, Larry sets these up at his place is he buys a type of float valve that connects directly to his hose. Uh, since I'm on a well system I didn't want to do that so what I've done is I've set up uh, old uh, water softener uh, uh, salt storage uh, bin and I've just atta attached a plug down at the bottom and I've got a hose, quarter inch hose going off and that's what I'm feeding my gutters with. Um, well, I'm going to go ahead and plant this other one out, uh, get everything together with it, uh, get some soil down in the buckets and uh, I'll provide periodic updates, let everybody know how this is working out, if it's working at all and uh, well we'll see what it does this year and uh, I like the idea of not having to water being able to go away for a week or two and not uh, be concerned with water in my garden uh, but we'll also see if things do a little bit better well uh, I'll check back in and if you'd like more information about this system or anything else we're doing in our garden be sure to check out our website at www.informationcupboard.com. Take care. Bye-bye.